then it's Denny Avdia, and it's Shangun in at the five, down low. And for the Spurs, we've got Colin Sexton, T.J. Warren out there with Clint Capella, and it's Magician in at the point. And the Spurs start out with a ball. To the middle. Here's Capella. Pass to Vaughn. Launches it. Nails it from three. Well, nice to see Capella find the open teammate as he continues to develop his ability to create farms. Anthony, it's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. <laughs> yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you have to bring much faster help than that. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. The finish. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Uh, you can learn a lot by watching him operate in your offense. Now here's Ball. Tight defense on him. With the drive, and he jams it home with authority. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? And guys, it's clear, though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. Here's Magician. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Offensively, they've been pretty sharp. Three for four so far. Pass to Avdia. Here's Anthony. Ball outside. Here's Shangun, guarded by Capella. Capella with a block. You got to be careful when Capella is patrolling the area. He's an excellent shot blocker who uses his length well. And the layup is good off the glass. Well, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow. Throw to protect the rest. Ball outside. Down low. Capella with a rebound. San Antonio's gone two for two from deep to start this one. And you think about the draft profile of LaMelo Ball. Grant, the court vision has been as good as advertised. I mean, he's just a gifted passer who sees over defenders. He enjoys well, making oh, those oh. flashy plays. He's been everything you want from a playmaker. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Oh, yeah, bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Foul. First team foul. The line for San Antonio, number five, at the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. We 
got shoot up. The box your man up. I got it. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Charlotte trailing. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Puts up the eight-footer. Got a piece of it. And they're able to recover. Yes, it's good. For San Antonio, they've gone four of five so far. Looking sharp. Sexton against Anthony. Count it. One for one to start the game. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The Hornets have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Out to the right wing. Inside. And so it looks like the Hornets will retain possession here. Hornets ball. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Up top ball. He had 25 points in his last game. Misses the layup. San Antonio leading. Sexton with it. And Anthony picks him up defensively. Vaughn, no good. I don't think the D does good enough here. But something causes the miss. To the inside. And ball with the basket. On the assist by Anthony. Ball's got six. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Outside Warren. On the wing, Sexton. Pass to Vaughn. Here's Magician. Just five on the clock. Hits the front of the rim and out. Now with the D playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jumper. And here's Anthony. Now here's Ball. Driving inside. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Here's Magician. Against Minnesota, he was really on his game. Back to Warren. Here's Magician. Seven points in the game. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Jumps up. And the big dunk at the end of the break. Oh, man. Talk about hay time. What a wicked double clutch finish. Hey, when you have that kind of space, you're allowed to get fancy. Pass to Warren. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Then put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. Now, Anthony. Here's Avdia. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Here's Sexton. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Sure fire. One-handed stuff. Yeah, with his focus, he's not going to miss that. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. Coming into this, having knots to win against the Lakers in their last game. Oh, man, they were in total control, really doing anything they wanted. <laughs> it was that level of dominance. Yeah, the offense looked cohesive last night. Whatever challenge the opposition presented, oh, they answered with confidence. The Hornets have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Here's Ball. Warren with the rebound. San Antonio's gone two for two from deep to start this one. Pass to Sexton. Over ball. Sexton misses. Here's Charlotte. Four-point game. Here's Avdia. Now ball. Out to Anthony. 
And there's the foul. First it's foul. on Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton. That's his first foul of the game. And the Hornets making a change foul. here. Portis has checked first in. Coming on to the floor for the away team. Pick him right, pick him right. Pass to Abdia. Shoots over Capella. Charlotte again missing. On offense, here is San Antonio. They lead by four. They want to keep rolling here, following a win against Minnesota. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Staying with your game plan is so important, especially when you are away from your home arena. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Pass to Sexton. Here's Magician. And he makes it on the layup. He's got nine. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And here's Anthony, coming off a 16-point game against the Lakers. Over Sexton. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got five rebounds in the game. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. That one goes. Count it. Count it. Sexton's got six. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Anthony outside. Pass to Abdia. Anthony with it. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Number 26. San Antonio with the ball. And stolen by Anthony. To the paint. Here's Abdia. And there it is for him. And now it's just a four-point Spurs lead. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. To the inside, Warren. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his second. Now on ball. Tough defense on that play for Warren. It's a credit to his shooting ability that he was able to get the shot off at all. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Spurs. They deserve a lot of credit for the defense they've played in the paint here early. Contesting shots, blocking shots, just making life difficult on their opposing shooters in general. I also like what they've done on the fast break in their first half tonight. They're taking it to them. First one falls for them. Well, here we are in mid-season now, Grant. How do players mentally cope with the grind of an NBA season? You know, that's a good question, B.A. I mean, you have to find ways to take your mind off of things as a team. Having outlets helps distract you. It's so important for players as they endure the lengthy season. Now here's Anthony. He's got six. No luck on that one. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. And that one's good. Magician. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him. Trying to push out that lead. Charlotte trailing. San Antonio foul. Number five. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. George outside. To the middle. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. And, and that's why you never stop working in the paint. At either end of the floor. And there's the lob. Well, with the roll he's on this quarter, they're, they're going to keep going to him. You get that lead even bigger. And it's the Hornets with the ball. They trail by nine. And there's the drive. Three-pointer, Anthony. Rebounded by the Spurs. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. We see these teams face off only twice a year. Last year, each won one. I mean, who knows? If you want to look all the way ahead to the finals, it's possible these teams can see each other there. So both teams looking to make a statement in their first meeting of the season. And that's as good a look as he's going to get. He's just got to shake that one off and keep it moving. And that one's good. Magician. And it's a 12-point San Antonio lead. Oh, fantastic start from the field for him. Six for eight. Portis outside. 
Pass to Anthony. A minute 35 left to play in the first quarter. With some arc. Avdia can't get it to go. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Now here's Anthony. Defense is right there. It's deflected. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. Hornets ball. Book night. He's checked in for San Antonio. We've got 113 left in the first quarter. Anthony, the pass to George. Clock at six. Pass to Avdia. This one for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Avdia's got five. George can make the tough passes. He can also make the easy ones, too. No way he was going to miss the wide-open man on that one. Here's Book Knight. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Yeah, true. But now it's about sustaining their energy and maintaining the focus. And stolen by Stewart. Here's Book Knight. He's guarded by Anthony. Book Knight's shot is good. Yeah, their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Charlotte has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Oh, you get it inside like this, you're going to get a high percentage shot almost every time. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Six points for him. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. It's the Spurs. They lead by 13. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And the 14th pick in 2014, T.J. Warren, a smooth shooter who puts a little sandpaper in his game, facing off against the best. I'm looking forward to it, uh, like I say all the time. It's a blessing to be able to challenge and play against the best players night in and night out. So I'm always excited for uh, a matchup. Well, Graham, no doubt Warren is not backing down. And in the past, we've seen him get into it with the... Well, the Hornets. Antonio. Get outside, get outside. Get On the court for the Hornets. Ball is out there with Paul George. And it's Portis in at the power forward. The inbound play works to perfection. You gotta love to get those quick hitters. Well, Magician in the last matchup against the Timberwolves was a man on a mission. He contributed 40 points, and his passing was the story of that one, creating for others. He had his handprint all over that game. 
put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. It's all about getting into a comfort zone early. When he does that, he can be very difficult to contain the rest of the way. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. And with Paul George Grant, you know what he delivers. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production for him. And he makes a first. And injuries are part of sports. Sometimes the team has to hold a player back and say, you're not healthy enough to play. Chris, that's got to be a tough conversation. Yeah, and teams, B.A., they're more cautious now than, than back in my day, I'll tell you what. Players can get angry, but you got to respect an organization that's looking out for you. And think about it. We've had some pretty horrific injuries where maybe the organization should have been more cautious. And just one of the most complete players in the game today. George's two-way game and strong leadership traits Colin, are Sexton. reasons why he's a star. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easy. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Sexton against George. Over Sexton. Nice spin off the left rim and in. George has got six points. He can do damage from just about anywhere on the floor. When you let George get position inside like that, he's guaranteed to finish. Here's Magician. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Charlotte's gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. George outside. Down low. Releases. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. 12 points for him. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Sexton against Ball. Throws it up high. Hammers the lob through. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Looking to get back on track. Count that bucket. The Spurs have gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second personal foul. Fifteen fouls. The line for San Antonio taking two shots. And he drops the first. Anthony's checked in for Paul George. And he makes both free throws. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Here's Ball going inside and rejected. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Warren. Ball. On defense, the Spurs. Here's Anthony. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Colin Sexton. That's his second personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Shooting for Charlotte. Cole Anthony. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. 
Well, over the last few years, the NBA has worked to make the schedule more manageable, Chris. That includes fewer back-to-backs. Yeah, and, and for us fans, uh, that's been a great adjustment. Uh, those back-to-backs, uh, you know, it could be a struggle at times. We want to make sure the players are there, especially on the road, so that the fans can come see them. Up again. Yeah. It's been a dominant night for him, staying productive throughout. For Charlotte, they've gone 8 of 15 in the second. And there's the foul. It's on Colin Sexton. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the line for two. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice, soft touch on his free throws. Fires the three. Hornets with the rebound. He's got nine points on three-pointers in the first quarter, but still looking for his first three of the second. The three from Ball. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. That's a slip-up by the D, and I'm sure they know it. I mean, uh, the one guy you don't want to give an open three to. Mm. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Charlotte's gone three of six from deep so far. Now Anthony. He's got 13. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. And it's Warren missing. Charlotte has gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc in the second quarter. He's covered by Warren. That one's good. 7 for 10 now. Look at what he's doing here, and it's hard to imagine him playing much better. To the wing, right side. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Portis. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Anthony with a bucket. Oh, oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Here's Magician, pounded by Ball. Out of, Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hornets. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Pass to Shangun. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got his third assist of the night. San Antonio's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Magician. And here's Warren. Shot clock at five. Here's Magician. Sinks the tray. 24 points for him. Well, that's almost a sure thing when you leave him that wide open on the perimeter. I mean, that's his sweet spot. The three from Ball. And the Hornets, another three. <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Let's talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Here's Magician. He's got 24. Inside. Portis with the steal. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Here's Anthony. No good there. Some solid defense from Sexton. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Uh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Ball outside. And the Hornets, another three. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Sexton against Anthony. Floats one. Sexton, that's good. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. Charlotte has gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. There's Ball with a three. Good. And he's at 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. 
Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Right side, Sexton. Capella can't get it to go. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good. Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Yeah, great job of getting a look before the horn sounded and gaining some momentum. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Spurs up by four. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Charlotte has gone 6 of 9 from three-point range. We've got T.J. Warren, Clint Capella out there with Colin Sexton, and it's Magician in at the 1. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. Anthony in the post. Checked by Sexton. Anthony with a bucket. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Here's Magician, hounded by Ball. And he lobs it up. And Capella gets it to go. Capella's got 10 points in the game. Uh, comes as no surprise that Capella makes that kind of tough finish. He's got a lot of strength and a lot of determination. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. You know, you just love to start the second half this way. What a play call. You try to jump on him, dictate the tempo, seize the momentum. There's the block. And they recover it. Pass to Magician. And as it goes out of bounds, out San Antonio of bounds. will keep possession. San he had Antonio the right ball. idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. Just five to shoot. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. Charlotte trailing. This for the tie. That's good on the jumper. Ball's got 22 points. A rock solid start for him. I mean, they're three for three since coming out of the locker room. Outside Sexton, the three ball. Offensive rebound, Spurs. Great positioning on the putback. And the Spurs lead by two. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. The Hornets have gone three of three in the second half. Sexton against Anthony. The floater, Capella with a block. Wow, that's their first shot of the half that hasn't found a mark. It's been a good start for them. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. And for Charlotte, they're shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. Pass to Avdia. Here's Shangun, guarded by Capella. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. San Antonio with the ball. San Antonio has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. And he's going for the oop here. Never I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Anthony. 
Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. So it'll be Charlotte. two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Oh, Man, he first made sure to get his foul. money's worth on that foul. First team foul. At the line for your Spurs, Colin Sexton. At the line for two. The first one falls. The Spurs making a switch here. Stewart's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Charlotte has gone six of nine from three-point range. After the outside. Here's Avdia. He's covered by Warren. A shot to stop the run. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Pass the Magician. There's the triple. Drops in the three. He's got 31. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Well, they're playing well as a unit, taking shots they know they can make Hornets and build to this lead. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive. The craziest dance in a free t-shirt. Both teams will make substitutions. Here's Avdia. Five points in the game. Ball outside. Three-pointer. Book Knight with a rebound. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. And he's going for the lob. <laughs> and no good. But close on that one. So he'll shoot two now. That's his third there personal foul. There weren't any Swiss players in the NBA Second until just a few foul. years ago, but now Capella, Apple one of several Iver guys from Switzerland, first. making an impact With in his Capella, league. two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. The Hornets have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. After the outside. Pass to Avdia. To the inside. Here's Ball. To end the drought. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, and, yeah, he does. And the defense has to be aware of this. When you don't put a body on him, you pay the consequences. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Look, from mid-range, they've been deadly all day. It's really opened things up for them at the other end of the floor. And they've really displayed a sharp passing game tonight as well. A lot of well-timed assists out there. George, he's checked in for Charlotte. For Charlotte, they've gone four of eight in the third. Jacks up a three. Pass to Avdia. Down low. And he slams it in one-handed. <laughs> Just a big play at this juncture of the game. Second chance points could be the key for them. Impressive effort right there. That's what they need to mount a comeback. Out left to the wing. Here's Book Knight. Give him eight. And Capella gets it to go. Capella's got 15. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Charlotte's gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. And here's Ball. He's got 26. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. On offense, here is San Antonio. They're on a 16-6 run. 
Here's Magician. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. 33 points for him. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Magician. I got it. Now here's Capella. Here's Book Knight. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Here's Ball. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Ball's got eight points in the quarter. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Pass to Magician. Three-pointer. Fires in the triple. This is the next step for Capella. Learning how to become a better passer over time. For Charlotte, they've gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Now here's Ball. The D's right on him. Here's George from the arc. The rebound by Magician. Pass to Capella. From nine feet out, the Hornets pull it in. Now here's Ball. 28 points for him. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Pass to George. Here's Avdia. Five on the clock. Pulls it. Misses off the left iron. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Book Knight's shot is good. Jeez, Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Charlotte has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. He had it flowing from long range in the first half. Not sure what changed. Up top, Stewart. No good on the shot. Charlotte has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Pass to George. Now ball. To halt the run. Rebounded by the Spurs. Capella's got 11 rebounds in the game. Stewart against George. Here's Magician. He's got 36 points. And finished off by Stewart. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. George outside. Ball outside. From deep. And no good. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Here's Magician. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Well, when he's hitting from range on a consistent basis, it makes everything easier offensively. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Without a question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse.
And the Hornets making a change here. Portis has checked in. Here's Portis. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Avdia, good. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Here's Maladon. George defending. Back to Maladon. Six to shoot. To the paint. Here's Vaughn. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Nine points in the game. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Ball passes to Portis. Here's Avdia. From outside the arc. Maladon grabs a miss. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Here's Booknight. That's basket number Jeez, six in eight Booknight. tries. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. Yeah, you can clearly see which offense is better right now. We'll see if that continues the rest of the way. Pass to Portis. Low block shot. And he can't get that one. San Antonio goes the other way with it. A minute six left in the third. Here's Maladon, hounded by ball. Beyond the arc. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. But well, it, well, it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. And there are the Spurs with another bucket. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. You have to know the scouting report. He's a threat from out there. Blocked! Knowing the kind of competitor he is, I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. Driving to the basket. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. There's Ball with a three. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! And just nails the three. Way to close the quarter. And you see this so often, league-wide, ending the period with a three-point attempt. And so it's San Antonio, already up 26 points as this quarter ends. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back after this word. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Well, I like that he didn't make his decision too early. You know, he let the play develop. That's how you do it. Finds the weakness in that defense. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Charlotte, they've got Anthony. He's out there with Grayson Allen. And it's Portis in at the center position. Here's Maladon. He's guarded by Anthony. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. These last seasons, we've had the privilege of listening to our players when they use their voices. And it's also been amazing to see the NBA work to support them. You know, our players are empowered to stand up for, for what they believe in. I mean, it started with players like Bill Russell, or Spencer Haywood, or uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Um, that's what our league is about. 
And, and we know that's a very special thing. Hey, good hit, man. Good hit. Charlotte's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Pass to Davis. Allen with it. Shot clock at six. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Charlotte foul. Loose ball. Loose ball. That's his first Go personal the other way. foul. First team foul. Warren's now, checked in for San Antonio. For Spurs, TJ Warren. Portis has gone just one for four so far. Pass to Warren. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Yep, that one's good. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Allen with it. Well, Chris, the max salaries can now reach as much as $50 million a year. Now, we don't want to count other people's money, but those are some pretty good checks. Oh, yeah, and I'm not hating on it because the more successful the league is, the more entertained fans like myself are going to be. At, uh, 50 million a season? Kudos to me. The shot's good. TJ Warren. Now Allen. Portis outside. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Allen, the pass to Davis. Six on the shot clock. Softly drops Terrence in the floater. Davis. Davis has got his first two points. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Pass to Maladon. Defended by Portis. It's hauled in by Portis. The Hornets have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Allen with it. Outside Davis. Pass to Portis. Missed inside. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurt him. To the middle. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. The Spurs have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Inside. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Anthony. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that was a stunner. Oh, wasted no time DJ on that one. Warren. Warren's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Allen, the pass to Anthony. Davis from long range. Again, the miss by the Hornets. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Warren up top. And see, Webb, you had such a well-rounded game, especially for a big man in your era. How do you think your game influenced big men that are playing today? Well, I definitely see parts of my game, you know, and a lot of guys that play today, and hopefully uh, the fact that, you know, I proved that as a big man, you can step out, you can ball handle, you can pass, uh, you can just be a player. But hopefully that allows them a little bit of freedom to do their thing, because these players today are great. And even if I see parts of my game in there, man, they're doing the work and they're taking the game to the next level. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. 
to the inside. Here's Portis. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. <laughs> I'll tell you, when he rises up to shoot and with his height advantage, oh, he knows he's going to get a clean look. Oh, yeah, it's got to be nice to have that combination of height and skill. You know you can get your shot off pretty much against anyone. Outside Warren. Spurs need to get one up here. 13 feet out. Goes back up. He's guarded by Anthony. With one on the clock. And the layup is good. They have no answer defensively inside. Charlotte has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Allen, the pass to Anthony. No good on the triple. On offense, here are the Spurs. They're on a 19-4 run. Down low. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Now that's how you lead your teammate into an easy scoring chance. I love that assist. And we're seeing a bunch of top high school prospects go pro now, Chris. You think that'll hurt the college game? Well, if it's just the five-star athletes, no. Uh, because they're one and done probably anyway. Uh, but I, if I'm uh, college, I, I would hope that the pro leagues uh, don't expand and need more. Because if it did, it could cause a major shift. Pass to Maladon. Clock at six. Fires from the wing. The shot, no good. So the Hornets will take it the other way. Anthony outside. To the paint. Here's Davis. Off target at the rim. Davis has gone one of three shooting so far. Pass to Maladon. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Oh, there's the alley. Deflected. Allen defending to the middle. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Anthony. The shot no good. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Looking ahead, they've got the Warriors coming to town for their next game. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Here's Maladon. And he banks in the layup. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. All right, here's a different question for you, partner. I'll be taking notes. Did you have a favorite city for food in the NBA? Well, write this down, B.A. So my mom is from New Orleans, so I know New Orleans very well. And so New Orleans was my favorite city, no question. The food there, oh, I'm getting full just thinking about it. <laughs> Outside Warren. From deep three-point range. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Yeah, and I have too, which is why they're okay with it. I'm sure if he gets that kind of look again, he's going to let it fly again. Here's Maladon. He's guarded by Anthony. And that one's good. Maladon. Maladon's gotten four this quarter. It doesn't get any easier than that. The defense has to play better. Allen inside. Oh, he misses the dunk. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? Pass to Warren. Back to Maladon. Rim-rattling two-handed jam. 
just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for a lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there. But the result is an emphatic jam. Oh, well, well, listen, guys, that was great work, making them pay for the laps on defense. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Maladon. He's guarded by Anthony. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. I'll tell you what. It's good to be his age. Yeah. I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> Three-pointer Anthony. He can't hit that time. So the Spurs will take it the other way. And Grant, you've been around the game in so many roles. Been a player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow, and I'm excited that we're moving forward in that direction. Outside Davis. Here's Portis. Sinks the 15-footer. Portis has got four points this quarter. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Spurs. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. Maladon attacking. And he's going to the line for two. The officials saw contact while he was going up. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line for your Spurs, Teo Melido taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Allen. Good D by none. Here's Maladon. Checked by Davis. Pass to Magician. So we see the Spurs taking the W here. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And that about wraps it up. Alongside Chris Weber, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill. And the entire 2K Sports crew. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Opportunity, my hands, I can't slip. Keep it wrapped up.
lock with the grip. I just came up out the water, I drip. Gotta crawl away before you can swim. Gotta swim away before you can splash. Gotta save before you throw the cash. Keep it going, ain't no time to relax. Watch your future's in and up in the past. Jimmy New trying, I got a blast. I'm too hungry for the dub, I can't fast. First place, I can never be last. I got homies to get out of the place. I got people to bring up with me. Living life in luxury. Put these numbers on the board with ease. I'm a dog when this spark on the beat. I know you wanna be. Up top, top floor with the team. Got the trophy on the shelf, no defeats. Ballin', ballin', logic 2013. I just be ballin', ballin', ballin'. You cannot stop me, nobody can. You know I'm all in, all in, all in. AEW logo to sweats. Labels keep calling, calling, calling. They want me to put the paper to pin. I just be ballin', ballin', ballin'. Look at the footage, I'm scoring again. Soon as we walk in, you know that it's over. Throw the champ belt over my shoulder. Me and my brothers got rings like we married. Let's go on our honeymoon to Nova Scotia. This is what I want to do till it's over. Freak style, bend on break like Cordova. I remember having dreams about getting cheese. Now I... Yo, what's up, man? Good game last night. I like it. Great choice. 